Hey there friends, how's it going? Today we're taking a look at BitLife. A new update just came out that allows you to be a landlord as well as other investment opportunities and I'm gonna set out to be the worst one. Uh, my person's name can be Lan Delord. It's Scandinavian. Special talent crime, I guess that helps. Just your standard looking landlord, that's all. He's not evil or anything. <laughs> He's just the average. Oh my god, look at him as a baby, he's terrifying. What the hell? Honestly, throw it in the trash and try again. <laughs> I'm aging up and it's just getting worse. Seven-year-old me is like something out of Lucius. Honestly, now that I look at the trailer, I think my character's way scarier than the kid from Lucius. <laughs> Amongst Us challenge? What is this? It's basically just be an imposter. You gotta sabotage a car, give it as a gift, give bad advice, murder a few friends without getting caught. Unfortunately, no mention of venting. That's disappointing. Imagine the pop-up. What will you do? Climb a tree? Dig a hole? Hide an event for the rest of your life? I might try and do that challenge in the background while I also develop my portfolio of property. Oh my god, my parents are buying me a Nissan. That's awesome. Accept it. Now how can I sell it? I need money to buy my first investment property. Sell. 36,000? Excellent. <laughs> my parents will be so mad. It's done. Honestly, you shouldn't give a gift to a guy like this and expect it to go in the traditional sense. Okay, now I should be able to go shopping for a property because I'm 18. <laughs> no, too expensive. I could buy two trailers. That's pretty tempting. Or I, I could get a tiny home too. Maybe that would be a better investment than the, the trailers that are probably not in good condition. Yeah, this is in perfect condition. I'll buy it with cash and I'll continue to leech off my parents and just rent this thing out. They'll take care of me. They love me. I have a face only a mother could love, so I better keep her close. Home improvement. Get a quote for home improvement. I want an adult playroom, please. They want 10 grand for it. That'll only add 1%. <laughs> My reputation would go down. Well, you know what? I'm doing it and we'll rent it out for an amazing price. Your contract has completely botched your adult playroom remodel project. They refunded you a grand for your trouble. Wait, what does that mean? They just gave me a refund and left. Like, what about my, my home? What condition? It's in worse condition. What have they done? I want to see a visual representation of... Actually, no. No, I don't. Okay, we're gonna try and rent it out. Uh, key features, uh, adult playroom, is that on there? No. Okay, well, open floor plan. There's probably like a wall missing from the renovations. Uh, the nudist colony is nearby. That's a great location. You know, location, location, location. That's what they always say. Uh, pets are fine. In fact, animals tend to just wander in. 140 a month. That seems reasonable. I was unable to find anyone. Oh my god, what have I done? Okay, what about less? 110 bucks a month. That's fine. And look, key features it's got a dog door but also cats only <laughs> yes oh it is one dog and one cat oh do i take the money or do i stand by my weird moral system i got going on here first impression was awful i prove her on the spot <laughs> yes i got money this is excellent you might want to drop in on your tenant all right i'm just gonna show up my parents agreed to pay tuition, so that's great. I'm just in the background in university. I'm not gonna pay attention to it. While using the Find My iPhone app to locate your mother, you discover she's been at a brothel for the past three hours. What will you do? Tell my father? I don't know. I hope that them paying for my tuition wasn't like a, a bribe or, or anything for for not telling because, well, I told immediately. Lieutenant Sandra is three months behind on rent. She tells you it's because she's mourning the death of a relative. Look, Sandra, I get hurt is in your name, but you gotta get over it at some point. Demand payment now. <laughs> she paid. While surfing the web, you land on a clickbait website that claims to have a hundred of the most majestic photographs ever taken. What will you do? Click through all a hundred and then read about something totally irrelevant for three hours and then start your work. Okay, so I have 8K. I need at least another 10K before I can get another property. The, the property I have is slowly, you know, like you're trickling in some pennies. While walking around the block, you receive a text from your tenant, Sandra Hurt, who asks whether you would mind if she runs a beekeeping business out of your tiny house. You see, this is the problem. I gave her an inch allowing the dog and now she wants bees. But uh, yeah, sure, no problem. I mean, maybe cut me in? That, that's a reasonable response. Like, yeah, this beekeeping business sounds like a good idea. So I want part of it. Cut me in. In. Yes! Uh oh, red spots in your body. I'm gonna go to the doctor even though it's probably just a load of stings from those bees. I have hives. Okay, yeah, treat them. Your professor is trying to seduce you. Could I sue her? Because she's 81, so like it might be good. You know what? I think it would be good to just go along with it. I think I'd get more money from seducing her than I would by rejecting her advances and suing her. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was, um, 
upsetting noise um, that came up as I got an achievement for flirting with the teacher. I'm just glad it didn't come up when I built the adult playroom. Wait, where is she? Oh, she doesn't even want to talk to me now. God damn it, I should have sued her. That's always the right answer. Can I still sue? No, God. <laughs> While walking downtown, a prostitute offers you some cough syrup. What will you do? Sure thing, sugar lips, or no thank you, ma'am. Why is this guy talking like he's from the 50s or something? I'm gonna respectfully decline the cough syrup because I don't have a cough. Oh my God, this person, look at him. So happy he's the healthiest person ever he's the smartest person ever he looks fire maybe this is just his own opinion or maybe he does legitimately look like he's on fire because now that i look at him i kind of see it <laughs> oh no sandra you're you've always got something <laughs> whether you're not paying you're trying to get bees inside the little house or now you're just a squatter rather than paying rent i'm gonna seek legal aid this is much more involved than i thought it would be i was already ready to move on to the next one you won your lawsuit. Okay, great. I, I unfortunately lost a bit of money from the legal fees. I think I may need a job to afford to be able to buy more. Otherwise, I'm, I'm just going to be relying on someone like Sandra. What? Oh, I, okay. <laughs> that, that overwhelmed me for a second. Well, I'm whelmed. I'm not super overwhelmed. It was just surprising is all. Okay. Mechanical engineer. I didn't go to university for that. Can I go back in? Would my parents still, like, pay for it? Your parents agreed to pay. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue education for now then. Six years of college comes out immediately applies to be a porn actor. That would be great actually. Have you ever stolen a pen from work is the question they asked. Is this a trick question? Who have you talked to? <laughs> I got the job. 73 grand a year just because he's so good looking somehow look how evil he is all right so if i age up one year i can like buy a whole new house now from that while at a party a repo man approaches you and asks you who think will win the academy award for best motion picture this year one of his pictures of course i told the repo man i didn't care which film won but he really did he was just disappointed that his you know his body of work wasn't appreciated this year at the academy awards he particularly thought the landlord scenario would have gone over well. Had a very good storyline, but um, then again, that's the only storyline he has. Every time it's the same one. Look at this, everything is 100% and he's not even tried. I'm gonna age up and then buy another property. While eating dinner, your mother suddenly begins choking on a piece of ham. She's always looking for attention, just ignore her. Oh, she collapsed and died. It's your responsibility to plan her funeral. Just because I happen to be there, wrong time, wrong place. I'm gonna donate her body to science so they can figure out why what happened and by that I mean with my guy like I don't know what is up with him there's something wrong with his genetics okay time for my second property this is where it starts snowballing I'm gonna buy a nice bungalow oh it's in awful condition wait hold on I'm gonna buy a nice bungalow oh no I can't afford it okay I'm gonna buy a pretty bad bungalow <laughs> yeah buy it with cash okay the budget for fixing it doesn't go so far maybe I should have bought one that was in better condition but we're committed now so I'm gonna try and rent it out do I have any tenant in the other one I don't okay we we gotta rent them both out. First impression was so much better. Approve you on the spot. I mean, if Miss Hurt got away with it, I don't see why you wouldn't. So my new property is near a nudist colony, adjacent to a cemetery, and near a busy highway. Where is this property? I need to know. Honestly, the nudist colony is the best scenario here. The rest aren't great. I mean, at least it's quiet. Maybe cemetery will work. <laughs> I was unable to find anyone. Okay, maybe it doesn't work. Let's try the nudist colony. Maybe that appeals to some. Oh, that did work. You know what? You can have it. Uh, your first impression was awful, but I can't be picky here. <laughs> Okay, so both tenants tried to get out of the rent this year, which isn't a good sign. Uh, I'm a little bit scared. Now that you have a stepmother, you're wondering how to address her. What will you call her? Name Raven Cobbledick. Uh, Raven Mom... Mommy Cobbledick. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. That's good. Aw, oh, my friend Gaylord unfriended me. Insult him one last time. Now I'm depressed. Well, once I lost Gaylord, it was all over for me, really. I think I can already buy another house. It's been one year. This is starting to snowball. I need a better one this time, though. Not a place that's falling apart and right next to a cemetery, nudist colony, and busy highway. Or you know what? Maybe I'll wait one more year and get an even nicer one. Try and go for the big box. Oh, Adolph is moving out. He can't afford it. You discover he left the property 
property in pristine condition. What will you do? Keep his deposit. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Why are you suing me, man? He offered you an opportunity to settle out of court. No, dude. We're fighting this. I'm getting the most expensive lawyer. I'm the bad guy now. You lost. Okay, well, that cost me way more than it should have. While sitting at the train station, you receive a call from your tenant, Holly, who asks if you'll help her move a body bag into the living room. I'll be right there. <laughs> My depression is gone, apparently, from that. He just finishes up like, ah, good to help with a good deed. Oh, his dad died. All right, we'll cremate him because it's it's pretty cheap. Wait, actually, I should have donated him to science. That was the cheapest one. All right, I'll throw him in the trash. Yes, I inherited a million. This is what I'm talking about. Good things do happen to good people. Your cousin and his wife were both tragically killed in a boat crash, and you were being asked if you'll take care of their seven-year-old daughter. Yeah, sure, why not? You're taking my name now. You're Bobby Sue Delord. If only my last tenant's name was Bobby. Bobby Sue Delord. And Bobby one, unfortunately. Well, I have lots of money now. <laughs> Maybe I should restudy to become an engineer, but let me buy some property first. Okay, I have a lot of property to buy here. I just gotta figure out what's the best way to do it. Maybe a few, like, middle of the road properties might be the best idea. Or haunted chalet. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm buying it with cash. <laughs> yeah. It's haunted. Key feature. Granite countertops. A crypt. <laughs> laminate flooring. <laughs> You're reading it like... Okay. Okay, uh, and, oh, wait a second, what? A bidet in the master bath, <laughs> it's amazing. It's in a gated community. <laughs> yeah, post it, I'm sure they'll love it. Yeah, approve on the spot. Everyone's just welcomed in. <laughs> I got an achievement <laughs> for renting out a haunted property. Oh, haunted two-door home. These are really good value. This is very haunted though, but it's very good value. Buy it with cash. Okay, this person applying to live here looks like a 90s cartoon villain, but I'm going to approve you on the spot regardless. Good luck. I mean, enjoy the house. Okay, bad news. We're out of haunted properties to buy. <laughs> All right, we're getting some property rented out here. That was a pretty nice property. This has been a busy year. Look at this log of text. Now, I think I will buy the rest on loan. I'll just get mortgages. I want to over leverage myself to have the best possibility at succeeding. So we're going to look at this two door home that I could buy in cash, but we're going to look for a mortgage on it. I had to pay basically nothing up front. We're going to rent that bad boy out. The mortgage is two grand and the monthly expenses are 400. I'll be earning 3,100. Yeah, that's enough to to pay for it. This will be fine. I'm going to spend all of my money on property this way. <laughs> Okay, who is approving this in the bank? Because I just walked back in and got another mortgage immediately. <laughs> and I paid like nothing down. I'm approving everyone on the spot as well. I feel like just in one year, I'm going to have so many problems. But we'll cross that bridge when we come for it. That's future Kevin's problem. Wait, this one's worth like 7 million. Can I just like get a mortgage on that? Would that be possible? I don't have enough. Okay. What about the second most expensive property available now? You think the bank at this point would have an idea that I just don't have a clue what I'm doing, but apparently not. Okay, this one's worth 1.1 million. That seems fine for me. Uh, what are you talking about insufficient funds? Just just because it's true doesn't mean you can keep bringing it up. Oh my god, they won't even allow me buy something for 800,000 now. They're being ridiculous. Reason, too many loans. Okay, I, I have enough apparently. They won't let me take out any more mortgages. Someone finally saw sense. I have such a unique name, I guess it just jumped off the page that it was the same guy sending in all these applications. And just randomly, like no plan whatsoever. There we go, rent out 10 properties at once. All right, let's go, loads of money next year. I lost like 100,000, what the hell? Wait, hold on, no, no, I got money back in. Okay, phew. <laughs> I did manage to earn more than I spent, but now let's see their problems. Oh, they want me to make more pornography. They're like, come on, man. We need you 52 hours a week. <laughs> like, Jesus, man. Agree to put in the extra hours. <laughs> you are officially a famous porn star. Why did this happen? I didn't mean for this to happen. Who the hell is Dean? I, I don't know. I'm gonna hook up with her anyway. I oh, wait. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's gonna be fine. I don't know what he's doing. One night stand with your friend Dean's wife, for God's sake. You wake up in the morning and all of her friends are there. Interesting. All right, I'm going to get murdered, aren't I? Just when things were starting to go right. Wait, so now would you, ap uh, like, approve another loan? Because, like, I'm famous? <laughs> Okay, it won't let me buy a house for three million. That I kind of saw coming, but I figured I'd go in high and then we'd go lower next time, so it would seem reasonable. 
No, they won't because I have too many loans. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna start buying with cash again. <laughs> Excellent. Every year I'm earning like a hundred thousand. I wonder how long it'll take to pay off all the mortgages. Oh, look everyone, it's Dean. <laughs> oh no, what is this? Is it Dean? He's in the walls. All the drawers in your rooms have been pulled out, the clothes are untouched, and nothing else seems out of place. It's definitely Dean. Just think nothing of it. It's probably not a ghost. I honestly think maybe a ghost would be a better situation. Otherwise, Dean is rifling around in my house, and he knows how to get into my house. But if I keep moving around my properties, you'll never catch me. Everyone's actually really happy. I didn't get as many problems as I thought. I'll inspect on the one person who's not happy. Coming in in a week. While performing a routine inspection, you walk in on your tenant, Jose, building a Rube Goldberg machine that spans the entire property? Okay, so this is an example. It's a complicated machine that performs a simple task, but takes up way too much time and is completely unnecessary. Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> You're doing great, champ. Should I, like, start another way of somehow, I don't know, capitalizing on his fame? Because right now he's focusing on his property portfolio, but he just happens to be really good at what he does and has become famous in the meantime. I'm gonna write a book called Let Me Explain. <laughs> I feel like that should be the title of my autobiography. It received poor reviews and it lost money, unfortunately. I'm not famous enough to be wanted for anything else, so I'll just wait. Hopefully it'll go up. Have a tenant die at the hands of a ghost. I'm getting some great achievements here. And it's Caden Pickles, the villain. He fell to his death after a ghost pushed him out of an open window. I'm just saying it. I don't think I'm liable for that. I'm gonna attend his funeral, though. It's kind of wacky. You've received an offer to promote something in your YouTube account. I've never made a video, but yeah, sure. For a thousand dollars, I'll do it. I got a huge response. I've posted once and it was an ad and everyone loved it. Another tenant. Oh, he was murdered. I was gonna say he died, but he was just straight up murdered. All right, that's not great for the property value. It's a bit of a selfish thought, but look at me. I'm an evil landlord. One of my tenants sent me a personalized doormat. Is that his way of saying I'm like his doormat and he's walking all over me? Send it back. What a bastard. <laughs> your enemy Dean started a rumor that you're turned on by the mere sight of Hagrid the gamekeeper from Harry Potter. It's a little bit on the nose, Dean. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> oh, another haunted home is for sale. I'm buying it with cash. The bank can't say no because it's haunted. They're like, hmm. I respect your aggressive strategy, but most of your portfolio is haunted and two of your tenants have died now. Is this really the route you want to go down? Yes, and I'm tired pretending it's not. Okay, all of the ones that are free are haunted. So maybe I can't just like write off one of them as some like gang violence or a bad neighborhood. It's just all my terrible strategy of renting out haunted properties. But anyway, here we go again. The good news is I can rent them out really easily. And I mean, if they die, I don't have to give back the deposit. No one wants to rent it out. Will I just live in that one then? Because I'm still living with my parents. It's haunted, but I'll show them. I'm gonna add an adult playroom. <laughs> there we go. It, it did it well. They, they came in over budget, but it's there, and that's the main thing. Oh. The tenant that just moved in got murdered. They're literally my most recent tenant. Okay, I'm never stepping foot in that place. Oh, a tenant invited me to a furry party at her home. Accept her offer. He wants me to put in 58 hours a week. Jesus. All right, put him in. I think, though, it might be start, like, it might be a good idea to transition into another sort of line of work because he is getting older. He's not going to be able to keep putting in more and more hours. I'll do what I know how to do best. Posting YouTube videos. I have 408 views. This is the way forward, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Oh, the porn set janitor wants to become my friend. <laughs> I see how you got into this line of work. Weren't quite suitable for being on camera, I guess. Wow, my first friend. <laughs> I, I'm just making ads on my YouTube. That's all people want to see. They hated my actual video. If you want to see more ads on the channel in general, I'm thinking of a rebrand to just advertise instead of making gaming stuff. So uh, drop a like if you support that. Thank you very much. If we hit, say, I don't know, 40,000 likes, I'm rebranding. Call me sellout, we'll call it. <laughs> oh my god, the stress he's under. <laughs> he's working 58 hours a week. Despite having this giant property portfolio, sure, some of them are killing people, but it's still 
still pretty good portfolio. I'm gonna say the best thing about this most haunted property is best kept secret. <laughs> Michael Crump. Yeah, you're old. He's 46. Okay, you're not that old, but you're you're in. Yeah. I just feel like it's more fair to give it to older people because then you know it's it's kind of mean to doom someone young to dying. But that's just the situation I find myself in. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, I don't want to live in this property anymore, so I'm urgently trying to rent it out because I, I don't feel like I deserve to die, so I'm trying to get someone in there. I'll lower the rent, okay? There we go. It's well below market rate. No, no one wants it. Okay, sell it. Sell it. <laughs> Buy something else. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the really evil one. Who did I put it? The really evil one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this one's actually fine. It's just, like, sort of evil. He's This ghost isn't even that active. <laughs> That could have been just the pipes or something. I don't know. Or it's maybe like a neighbor standing up. I make a noise similar to that when I stand up. Yeah. All right, lad. Come on now. We're going to do some exercise. Come on, let's do it. Hire the exorcist. All right, he's here to, he's here to stay. He's probably going to be more angry now because I asked him to leave. And he was there first, in all fairness. Okay, look. Just give me a hundred bucks and just stay in this place. Yes, someone finally wants it. She has a child. All right, best of luck. <laughs> Michael dead <laughs> anyone i put in it they literally die within a year like guaranteed can i give it to like a family member or a friend i wonder mavis confessed she's been hearing voices in her head oh this is the janitor um tell her to listen to them yeah they're probably just helping you do your job right yeah <laughs> landlord is very smart very very intelligent all right we're gonna try and exercise oh my god it's haunted by edgar Allan poe we're gonna try and get rid of this one no i don't like my odds there actually that sounds a bit scary i'm leaving uh we're just gonna we're gonna upgrade it instead to attract people we're gonna build an outhouse so you don't have to be in your house right that's the most expensive outhouse ever made about three and a half grand there <laughs> and then i'll i'll rent it for like 1800 that'll do right yeah you got go on in there don't say a word now bye <laughs> wait wendy wendy butler has decided she would rather squat is that the person i just rented out to oh my god they finally finally <laughs> reduced my hours back to 40 a week it kept increasing Increasing by like six hours each time, but we got a new supervisor and he was like, this is barbaric. <laughs> this poor man, <laughs> he's giving it all he has. Okay, the voices in Mavis head told her to become best friends with me. I'm asking my stepmother for money. I forgot she existed, but I got it. <laughs> That's the main thing. Honestly, I feel like I'm doing something way beyond this Amongst Us challenge. Like, everyone I put in that house immediately dies. Oh, so this is the one that didn't want to pay. I thought you were st staying in the uh, haunted mansion. Sorry, um, you're getting evicted. <laughs> I lost my lawsuit. What do you mean? She's just said, I'm not paying rent, and that's how it is. <laughs> and the court is like, yes, that seems reasonable. Ah, uh, it was Ginger. Yeah, I, I see. I got them confused. There's so many tenants, it's hard to keep track. But yeah, Ginger has passed away. <laughs> oh, and another tenant passed away. Okay, I'll attend her funeral. Oh, and another tenant. Oh, okay. I think that was a whole on family that moved into that house. They all died. Oh, man. Now I'm being haunted. And it's the really aggressive one. Complimented. <laughs> You're looking great. <laughs> Man, everything else is working like clockwork. Well, except for this one. How can I... Can I just drive her out? Just force her out. Just lock the doors. I don't care what the court says. If she doesn't have money for rent, she doesn't have money to sue me. Okay, this place is literally unrentable. And it's the one that's not even haunted that much. So I'm just gonna try and get rid of it and get something else. There we go. Good luck with that. The one that kills everyone is fine. People think that that house is great. They immediately want it. Okay, so we got Kiana Strange moving. Oh, Kiana Strange is dead. Crushed beneath a bookshelf that had been talked over by a mysterious entity. What will you do? I'm not even gonna keep going to these. These are just depressing. Everything bad happens to me. Okay, I just became an engineer. After like decades of being a famous porn star, he just goes into engineering. But it's in order to get this Among Us challenge. Become a mechanical engineer. Is that a certain type? I hope they don't fire me because I have no experience. Your daughter, Bobby Sue, is asking... I totally forgot about her. <laughs> to pay for her college education. She wants to major in criminal justice. No, that's just an extra person to catch me. Refuse. Okay, this did not tick off what I needed for some reason. I need to be specifically a mechanical engineer. Engineer 3. I didn't even know there was an Engineer 2. So many sequels. Honestly, an Exorcist would be a great uh, career choice for me. You know, it'd be one of those things that could go from a hobby into a job, I think. Okay, so I've made a horrible mistake. Um, I'm in a bad career choice for my person right now.
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Jose has destroyed this house. Someone else has just moved out. Oh sweet Jesus. He's done like a, a third of a million in damages. Oh god. Do I go big? I, I don't understand. Who would have to pay the damages here? I, I'm gonna have to pay so much. Alright. I'm gonna go with the middle one and hope I get my damages back. I lost. Are you serious? How? How is that possible? Everyone is moving out. This is bad. I'm gonna need this rum. Yes. Give it to me. A tattoo. Yeah. Ink me up. I need anything that'll make me happy. Oh Jesus. Oh no. No, oh, half my tenants are gone. Right, well, I just have to spend half a million between the legal fees and the, the refurbishment fees. I don't know why I made this guy's life so hard. He had it all. He had everything. <laughs> and I ruined it by making him do something he shouldn't have done. I like how it has this silly little ghost symbol, even though this ghost has been murdering people. Wait, before I rent it out. Amenities. Enjoy your home's luxury add-ons. The outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> the enjoyment was completely empty. I'm going to add a panic room to that house, so at least they have a chance of running like I know they're running from a ghost so it doesn't really matter but I feel like at least if a lawsuit happens I put some effort in okay so I rented them all out I can't remember who I rented the most haunted one too um let me show you one second let me age up okay yeah this guy um Mon Montgomery yeah it was him my god, the ghost is coming for me, man. <laughs> I'm gonna call the police on this ghost once and for all. They warned me for wasting their time. Like 20 people have died in this house, man. This guy's right up there with my most kills on any character, and it's entirely unintentional. Like, look at this. He's about to get a quadra kill. There's two adults and two children moving in. Okay, so this Roy guy is dead. Uh, we can skip his funeral. Uh, Jeanette is dead. Skip. And it didn't show me the kid pop-ups, because I guess that's a bit too sad. <laughs> oh, my stepmother passed away. I'm gonna skip the funeral. I don't feel like they would have let me know and I haven't spoken to them in ages. Oh, this was the tenant of the, the house, you know, the one. You hear a plane buzzing above your house and go outside to discover your enemy Dean has paid for an airplane banner that reads, Landlord is an ingrate. What will you do? I'll flip off the pilot. Hope he doesn't crash into me in revenge. I've been fired as an engineer. There are rumors that you spiked the punch ball. Just because I look evil doesn't mean I did everything evil, but yes, I understand and I'm going to insult you as I leave. <laughs> God, the ghost. I think the ghost is going to end up killing him. That's my, my, I, I don't know, head cannon. no matter what happens. I'm calling the police again on the ghost. I can't believe I have the most aggressive ghost ever created in this game. And the thing is, that house is being rented out. I don't know why the ghost came for me. Maybe because I keep putting people back in there despite what's happening. Oh my God, I'm actually managing to pay all of this off. This loan is somehow working out. The tenant is dead again. They got crushed by a bookcase. I don't know why I don't just bolt them to the wall or something. I'm gonna go in the panic room and have a bit of panic. I enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, it's time to try and get rid of Sacagawea over here. <laughs> Failed. I- t Come on, I can do this. <laughs> It's not going away. Wait a second, even though it's very active, it says it's friendly. What if I just try and talk to the thing? Summon the ghost. No luck. Oh, now you're shy. Now you're shy. Yeah, it all makes sense. I found a cat. I took it and I'm calling it the killer so I can threaten my tenants with, I'm gonna get that rent or I'm gonna set the killer on you. <laughs> and it'll, it'll seem like it's a big threat, but when it comes out in court, I'll be like, I was just talking about this cute little kitten, you know? Oh my God, another tenant crushed by that bloody bookcase. <laughs> Imagine and I'm just blaming it on this ghost. Like, it was Sacagawea. She's killing all of them. But it's really just a shoddy bookcase. <laughs> it's just a bit on level. One of the legs is a bit crooked. <laughs> Crushed like 20 people. I'm earning a killing while killing. I'm now addicted to alcohol. Where's Dean? Because I don't really want him to get away with all of this. Has he died? <laughs> I hope he's dead. Yeah, or else he just decided to give up. You know, maybe 50 years was enough to hold a grudge. Like, I just wasn't even acknowledging him. Good lord, this innocent little granny did half a million dollars of damage in this house. Sue her for damages. And I'm going all in. I'm going with the big boys this time. Yes, I won. But I, I still technically lost because I paid more than the damages were, but oh well. Oh, the killer has escaped everyone. Put up signs all over the neighborhood. The killer is on the loose. I have to keep lowering the price. Every time there's a couple more kills racked up in that bad boy, people just don't want to stay there anymore. Okay, 2,100, but you must never touch the bookcase. It must stay exactly where it is. 
Okay, well, she listened, but then was pushed out of an open window <laughs> by the bookcase. Oh no, it's Akajuia. I'm going to investigate whatever the hell this was. I want to confront this ghost. Oh my God. I'm going to compliment the ghost or, or what will I do? Ch stay calm? How can I appease this thing? It looks at you, then stops abruptly. Try to stay calm. Yes. Okay, that's got to be a step in the right direction. I'm dead. I've been murdered. It didn't even tell me what killed me, but it was obviously the ghost. It just says he died at 59. His daughter did not attend. She took that really personal when I didn't fund her college, despite having loads of money. Land shot to stardom as a famous porn star. Friends recount the time he fell on his face after overindulging at tequila sunrises. But they looked on it lovingly because then he rented out this haunted mansion to them at a very affordable price. They all died shortly after. Thank you so much for being my tenant and spending time. You can leave your rent in the comments check out more of my content here and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.